In the European Union, 72% of population live in urban areas, and this share is going to grow in time, reaching 80% at 2050. From the environmental point of view, there are positive uh, effects. We can have a look at the cities that won the European Green Capital Award, in example Copenhagen in 2014, for good cycling practices and feasibility of cycling in the city. But at the same time, there are challenges. And for example, if we think about the urban sprawl, we know that there are problems related to public transportation that becomes not uh, optimized, and we can have congestion, bad air quality, and problems related to this. So it is important to design a concept of green city and sustainable city to try to avoid and to limit these problems. The Sustainable Urban Living Project, in which I'm currently involved in, is dealing with this concept of green cities and it tried to develop a consistent modeling framework able to suggest and to evaluate strategies and measures for sustainable urban cities. In this context, we can deal with land use change, air quality issues, water management and so on. What I'm doing is to contribute with my expertise in the air quality part of this modeling framework. And basically I'm working with an interdisciplinary approach, putting together environmental, in this case air quality, and economic and social effect. The final aim of this sustainable urban living with this component related to air quality is to support decision makers in designing and maintaining green and sustainable cities.